Massive difference between association and participation, and sometimes we confuse the two. I compare it sometimes to an airplane flight. On an airplane, um, I associate with the person I'm sitting next to. Right. We, we don't participate. We, uh, we touch knees, you know, and we're, we're, we're looking forward. We hear the same announcements come from the, uh, from the stewardess or the flight attendant. We were offered the same beverage. We uh, experience the same bumps, but we're not in community with one another. We just, uh, we just experience the same thing. Unfortunately, many churches are kind of like airplane right. churches. You right, show up right. at the same time, you arrive at the same gate, you get, off, you get in the service and out of the service at the same time, you hear the same announcements, you hear the same message, but that doesn't mean you, you participate with one another. You're just, you're in the same worship service. That's association. But the scripture gives us the, this really beautiful picture of participation. So the word in the original language in the New Testament, the word many of us who've been a seminary or, or even have just have heard a couple of Greek words have probably sure. heard the word koinonia. Right. It means fellowship or participation or partnership. And a couple of spots it's used in the New Testament. And uh, I just, just want to give two real quickly. Philippians chapter 1, Paul's writing from prison to this group of Christians in Philippi. And he says, um, verse 3 and 4, it's like, I, every time I remember you, I, I thank my God of every remembrance of you. I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. And the word there in the original language is koinonia. So he says, every time I think about you, I remember we didn't just associate with one another. We participated. We have a right. partnership. And you still are in partnership together. So they're probably meeting, most, most scholars believe, at Lydia's house. They're in partnership. They're in koinonia. They're in community. And so then he makes this, this really great statement in verse 6, which we've quoted before, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you right. is faithful to carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. So in, in context, you got to see this. One of the reasons Paul is so confident that they're going to continue right. is because they're in partnership, they're in koinonia. And so that's participation, not just association. Acts chapter 2, same thing. Verse 42, Peter preaches, 3,000 people become Christians, and they devote themselves to the koinonia. Right. And so they're, they're in community. They don't just associate, show up, and like you said, and, and just listen to a message. Right. They, they participate with one another. And, I mean, that, that's a participation's much deeper than association. I fear we have a lot of airplane churches. You show up at the same time, you leave at the same time, you have the same experience, but we're not participating. And, and that really is foreign to New Testament Christianity. Yeah.